Hey guys, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can crop out or actually vector mask out a certain shape on a photo you have. So for example, this is my original photo. I was able to just select out a circle or a triangle or I could use the custom shape of hearts to crop out or to vector mask out the shape I'm looking for. So I'm going to show you how to do that for each of these three different styles and it all follows the same process. So the first thing you have to do is just open up your photo in Photoshop CS6 or CC, whichever version you're using. Make sure that you can see the entire image. So the first thing I want to do is I want to select my shape tool. and Normally by default, sometimes it's on the fill shape, so you're getting a, a solid color. We don't want that. We actually want to go and we just want the path. So we just want the shape path. And then selecting shift, I can make sure that my circle is uniform. Then I can select the direct select tool to move around the circle so it will crop out only the pieces that I want. So right there looks about good. Now I have to convert my image from a background to a layer. So you can right click or double click on that and change it to layer. So it doesn't matter, layer zero is fine. So now we have our layer, which is the image, and our path, which is the circle. Make sure that we're still selected on the layer and we can go up to layer and vector mask and vector mask the current path. So what that actually does is it it says that the path that it's currently on we want to mask everything outside of that. Then we can go and crop our image just so that when we export it, we don't have this huge image, we just have the circle that we're looking for. And then remember, if we are going to save it for the web, or if we want just the transparent image, we have to save it as a GIF or a PNG file. Okay, so hit save. I'll save that just to my desktop. Perfect. So now if I want to do the same thing with the image and create a triangle crop, I'm just going to go all the way back and just open up the image to the original format. I'm going to, I'm going to do the exact same process. So I'm going to go through this a bit quicker just to show you what it would look like. And then you will be able to do this on your own in the future. So we want to select the shape. We're going to go with actually a polygon tool Let's say it's going to be three sides. Make sure I'm on path. Move around the triangle for wherever I want to crop out. This has to be converted back to a layer. Layer vector mask, current path. So once you have the hang of it, you can do this with any shape. I'm going to open up the original format again, and I'm actually going to do it with a custom shape. So Photoshop comes with a few custom shapes built in, as well as you can add your own. So the heart is what we're going to do right now. Hold shift, because we like that uniform look. Put the image again to a layer. Layer. Vector mask, reveal current. Then, just like the circle, we can crop it and make sure that when we're exporting it, we're saving it for the web in a transparent format. So, again, either a GIF or a ping works. Hit save. Actually, let's have a look at that before we go. 
perfect. You can save. I'm going to save this as photo part. So that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please check back for more videos in the future.